Welcome back to the channel, folks. We got quite a few comments of like people like to see more expression type carvings. And so we're gonna do one today, kind of an inquisitive look. And so we're going to, of course, safety first. We're gonna get our glove on. And uh, we're going to uh, block this two by two out today. And I did this because we want, hopefully you'll be able to see this better on a larger piece. And so we're going to start here at our 90 degree angle. So again, to get you to kind of understand things, the furthest thing out on your face that stands is your nose, unless it's your tongue when you're sticking it out at somebody. So the, the, the nose is the furthest thing that stands out on the face. And so this corner here is going to be our 90 degree. This is where our nose uh, placement is going to be. And so we're going to start here with our sweeping cut. And about halfway down, about a half inch down, uh, we're going to make this cut. And again, making two or three small cuts is a lot better than making a large one. All right. So again, we're going to come in and we've got our swooping cut. This is going to be the face placement right here, as you can see here on camera. And we're going to come in with our knife here and make the cut for our V cut for the eye placement. Now again, there's hundreds of different expressions that you can carve and so don't get stuck in a rut of just carving one particular expression so there's all kinds out here all right so we've kind of got an eye plane that's higher than this one here this one's a little lower this one here's a little higher and so that's kind of what we're going with here today to raise that eye up to kind of give it an inquisitive look all right so now again Remember, everything has a center, so we're going to draw on our pencil line right here, and this is going to be the bridge of the nose. And so I'm going to put right about here a rocking chair cut, because that is, again, that's the safest cut you can make. Instead of trying to go across like this here, the grain could give away and go into your finger. And so we're undercutting the nose, where the nose can stand out. Below here will be the mouth, and we're going to work on the expression of the mouth. The mouth also has a lot to do with your expressions. So you'll notice right here I put my my knife right here at the, at the side of the nose and I'm going right up to the outer edge of the eye and with that tip and this is going to give us a better plane here to work with. And then same thing here I'm going to start here at the tip of the nose and work my way up here to this plane and so right now, we're ready to put in the um, couple of cuts here to create the bridge of the nose. And so I'm taking my gouge here. It's a number nine gouge. Depending on the size of your wood, you know, use the right size of tool for whatever size of piece that you're working with. So I started right here and I pushed straight in. Don't go up like this, but just go straight in. About halfway down the nose, start right here and go straight in. Jump across the bridge of the nose. You're going to go over here and do the same thing. Take your knife, remove this excess that you carved here, this waste from your U-gouge, and then come out here with the, the knife where you start with the U-gouge. On this edge, there's a little edge right there you can see. We're going to flatten that out. And this is going to open up an area. And also, this creates a flat plane. And this is how you can carve two eyes on a corner. I'll turn this around and that way we can do it from this side that way we can have a flat plane right there all right so that's where we're at right there now we're going to come down here and we're going to get ready to do a mouth and again as I said earlier the mouth has a lot to do with your expressions and of course I've given this guy here a pretty wide nose and so we're going to create here just a little bit the wings of the nose and we're going to come in right here and we're going to come in like oh come out just a little ways we're going to stretch this face out a little bit and then we're going to come down here pretty straight looks like it and this is again again is going to create a different expression and we're going to put our stop cut right there to create the wing of the nose
turning my wood here where I can get a better cut and a safer cut. And again, I'm planting my thumb for stability and I'm putting just the tip of that knife into the wood. All right, so we kind of have a, this is going to represent the cheek area. And so right here now we're going to come in and create the wings of the nose. Now you can do this with a V tool if you'd like, but right now I just I'm going to do it with a knife. Okay, so we kind of have a, a bolus nose in a way. And so now we've got the three planes of our mouth. There's one and there's two. Of course, that's the most prevalent one. And there's the third one. And again, remember to keep this area of your mouth very rounded or you're going to have a flat looking carving. As I said before, it'll look like that your carvings hit a parked car and we don't want flat faces because you can't get a good expression if, if you don't keep this rounded. Okay, so now we're going to, again, we're going to put in our eyes and we're going to do, uh, for this particular uh, video, we're going to do an open eye and we're drawing in the upper eyelid on the flat plane that we created here on this 90 degree angle. And I'm drawing these in, and this is just a guide. And I'm going to take, depending on the size of your wood, this is about an eighth size V tool. And I'm going to carve right here, starting on the outer edge, working my way up on that on that piece on that, that line that I carved in or drew in, and then trace right over the other one. All right, and that gives you an eye placement right there. So right, all this right in here is going to be your eyeball. All right, so now we're going to come across here, start over here across the nose, and look how I'm using my thumb as I'm pivoting, and this will give you better control. And remember, don't go any deeper than what the tool's made for, because you'll tear the wood. All right, we're coming here now. We're going to finish out the, the bottom lid there, or the upper lid, the upper lid there. All right, so, now we're going to draw in our mouth and to give us a kind of a, an attitude look here, an inquisitive look. And so we're going to um, go here and just arch our upper lip. And he's going to be looking uh, this, this way, be to uh, my right to his left. So, and again, you just got to have a reference line. And now I'm going to take about a 3 16th V tool and I'm going to come in here and put in that upper lip. I'm going to go over that again. See, it's already given him an expression even though he doesn't have a bottom lip yet. I like that expression already. It's like, what are you up to? And that's kind of the inquisitive look we're going for today. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tweak this nose. He's too boxy looking. and. Well, this wood's cutting good today. Good piece of wood. Of course, you've got to have sharp tools. <laughs> and so now we're going to do the eyeballs. And again, in the previous um, videos, I tried to show you that we're going to do six cuts to each eyeball. Six cuts to each eyeball. And so I'm going to hold my knife just like a pencil, like you get ready to write something. And I'm coming in and I'm taking just the tip and in that corner there, there's the second cut. And then I come at an angle. Now, if I come in straight in, the wood could give away and it could go down into the cheek. So we're going just to take our knife and plunge into the side. And remember, the deepest part of your eye is next to the nose. All right, now I'm going to turn my wood, come to this side of the eyeball, plunge in, make the cut here too. That's our second cut. And there's our eyeball. Okay. Now look, this top of this eyeball, because we took out both sides, it makes this eyeball, this part of it, stand out too far. So I'm going to take the very tip again and go right over on top of that eyeball, making that stop cut. 
Now again, your tool, this is a very thin blade. That's why I like thin blades on certain things, especially when I'm doing this. And then I come in here and I'm just going to rotate that knife slowly but surely and ease up as you go down the hill here and getting that sliver of wood out. See how it created that shadow in there? I like that. Okay, now let's get our denture brush here, clean up a little bit. Now let's do the other eye and let's come over here and start on the inside. And we're going to go one cut there. Here comes the second cut. Sometimes you got to go in here because sometimes the fiber of the wood doesn't want to let go and use your blower and then come over here to our first cut, second cut. All right. He's kind of a, getting a happy look on him, kind of an inquisitive, like when's dinner? And so again, we're plunging that knife up there on top of that eyeball and we're coming in. Just slowly with that very tip in there and pop that out of there, all right? All right, let's give him a forehead now. And we're taking our swooping cut. Remember in our, one of our videos, we talked about that. And again, we're creating this eyebrow bone that men have that women do not have. Uh, it's very prominent in men. And so make sure you get that in. And then uh, we're going to take our soft V and I'm going to put it right between his eyes and I'm going to separate that eyebrow. See how that makes it, looks, it softens that up, makes it look better. And then come in here with our knife and just kind of tweak some of this, get some of the roughness off of here. Okay, now we're going to come in now and do the bottom lid and again I would suggest if you can start on the outside and work your way into the nose so I'm starting right here at the corner and creating this bottom lid and I'm turning and turning and creating that cut right there let's come out here continue to do with our uh, create our crow's feet In. Let's get our brush here. Get rid of some of that there. All right, let's again, let's go over here to the other eye and let's get this guy started right here, this bottom lid, and come in and do the same thing. Start from the outside, working our way in. And it's a nice lid there. All right, now let's think about now our mouth of what we're going to do here. Now, I'm going to put a stop cut right here, and I'm going to start smoothing this up just a little bit here, get rid of some of those tool marks. And I'm going to come back in here and visit the mouth plane, or the dental, plan, dental plane, they call it. Because without your teeth, you don't, I mean, you, you definitely need to have an expression without any teeth, but it's what keeps us from having too bad of expressions is having your teeth in there. And so now, again, this is why I like, now you can do it with a U gouge or you can do it with a soft V, but I like using the soft V here. And I'm gonna start right here in, oh, let's say right here in the, at the center of the nose and come in and I'm going to put this bottom cut in and then I'm going to exaggerate this just a little bit and go really tight right about in here. Now you say, Van, that lip is way too big. I'd rather have too big of a lips and too big of a noses because again you can always downsize all this. You cannot put these chips back on here and try to correct things. So always look your carving over upside down sideways look for anything that you might see and look it all over and give it a good thorough look through 
over on your project here. Now, to creating, to creating the expression here is when you open your mouth. And so I'm going to plunge in my knife right here with my little blade and knife here. And I'm going to make the stop cuts probably like two or three times here, probably three, because I'm wanting to cut the fibers of the wood. Let's do another one. And then when I come back in with my knife, I'm going to go right about in line with this middle plane. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a cut, kind of a swooping cut. But I'm just using how I'm turning. I'm going to demonstrate that again. I'm going in and turning. And that opens up his mouth. And it looks like he's getting ready to say something. And so I'm going to come in here and deepen this even more. And that right there gives you a nice expression. But now here is the part that really makes the expression is the way the pupil looks up or over or anything. So right now I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to start right here and I'm going to darken the corner. Now if I was to paint this guy, I would paint the eyeballs white first and then add in the greens or blues or browns, whatever. All right, so we need to come up here a little bit more with our pencil. And then I'm going to have this one here coming looking kind of an up in a way over now again this eyeball to me right now I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to to take that ridge I don't know if you can see it but there's a ridge right there we need to readdress that just a little bit there we go that helped it so he's looking over again create action in the eyes, whether it's with a U gouge by taking it in and putting a pupil in, you can do this. Now, if you're going to put this pupil in, then you just want to stain this guy. You don't want to paint it. You can if you want, but I would suggest that you just um, just use that U gouge there to put in the pupil if you're going to stain your project only. So now again, we cannot forget the couple of things, and that is. And uh, uh, the eyebrows. Eyebrows are very important. And so uh, your eyebrows, using your V-tool, you can make them short or long. But just come in and hit those areas like so. Okay, now since I forgot my nose maker, I'm just going to make our little angel kiss right there. That's that little dent that we all have. And again, like if you don't have a gouge, you can come in here, eat with your knife, and make these little cuts for the nose. And all you're doing, you just need to show there's a shadow there. So again, you don't have to have a little gouge, you can do it with your, with your knife if you'd like. But just take your time and using that knife there and cutting in those little nostrils. Okay, so let's soften his cheeks up a little bit here. Um, get rid of the, again, there's no um, hard features on the face as far as now as we get older wrinkles increase lines get deeper but there's no sharp edges what I'm trying to say so just kind of dress this down a little bit and same thing over here and now we're going to do something here a little different we're going to make a cut right here and to the side and we're going to sink in the temples. And 
I'm going to come in right here and sink that in. See, to me, that just gives it more, a better look. Because now you could come in here and start putting some hair in there. Same thing right here. We're going to take our knife. And this would be like where we could put the ears in later on if we wanted to. And we'll do that on another video. But I wanted to show you here that it helps by sinking in the temples. And it just really makes your carving come to life. Look how difference that made just by doing these cuts right here, these stop cuts. And now you could even come in here and Oh, let's see here. Let's 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 go some hair this way. Just put in a few straggly pieces of hair in here. I like the sound of the tool going through the wood. It's no sound like it. Yeah, look at there. He's got a little piece of hair, a little some action going on there. And then if you wanted to, you could you could really um, put in a part, you know, where he could, you could put a part right about here and uh, bring the hair down and whatever and creating all these little cuts right through here. Putting some hair along the side. And two, if you wanted to, you know, come in here and give him a full cheek, you could do that, you know, a chin, by taking your knife here, your V-tool, and really um, coming around and giving him a more full face look. Boy, he getting, and then I like, we're going to shave off this excess here wood because every face is different there's oblong faces there's round faces and so don't get hung up on um, just let the wood dictate where you want to go with this where it wants to go sometimes you just let go and let it let it go and let it do it and sometimes those when you do that sometimes that's some of your best work now we're going to put a stop cut right here to make that chin more pronounced. Yeah, I'm going to come in here and remove all this excess. And um, let me turn them around here a little bit and get clean up his face a little there. That's all we're doing. And we're about ready to wind this guy up here. But I just wanted to show you. By creating shadows, I'm coming in here and I'm making that cut there. And see how it makes that the jawline and the, the chin start popping here. Again, if you don't want such a pronounced chin, why well, tone him down, you know. Come around here. Work all over your carving. Don't get stuck in one spot because it creates uniformity when you're working all over. Because I've seen some people just work in one spot and uh, they've gone too far. And they forgot about doing the rest of the carving. They got so involved. And so, anyway, that's kind of an inquisitive look there. And so I think we'll call this face pretty good. And again, you can come in and tweak this mouth even more if you need to. And, um, but at the end of the day, you're going to come up. There's, I mean, hundreds of different expressions of the human face. And so just have fun. Don't get hung up on making everything perfect. <laughs> Because just the main thing about carving is just to have fun. And so I think we'll stop right there. And then we'll put a few little divots in there later off camera. But 
Anyway, that kind of gives you a gist of, of how um, you can do different expressions. And so I appreciate you tuning in today and thank you for uh, being with us. And please subscribe and like us and leave a comment below. Happy carving.